Um, as you can see, nothing's really changed. Uh, aside from that, that, uh, that dust collector in the background that, that emits that orange glow. There's not really a whole lot of glow in the room yet. That's because the PC isn't finished yet. I'm still getting the parts. I've got four components left. Once I got get those four components, it's go time. It's put it's go time, put up or shut up, time to build this fucking thing. We're getting there. It's just taking a good god long time because I don't make very much money and it's not like that tip jar is getting filled. <laughs> oh yeah. Something I forgot to mention all these years. If you're watching this stream and you happen to be watching on the Twitch page, just scroll down a little bit and you will see a tip jar. I don't normally talk about the tip jar. Mostly because I don't want to be seen as an e-beggar. I mean, do you, do you see uh, windows all over the place and uh, interfaces that looks like you could click on things? Um, but it's mostly just indicators of how much money I'm making off the stream. I, uh, I don't like doing that. I, I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be an e-beggar. I don't want to be someone who uh, who just leeches off his, his fans. <laughs> that would be assuming I even have fans. The only fan I have is the one over there, and that's... it's what's causing that, that, uh, it's what's causing that noise in the background. I should probably shut that off, because it's getting kind of cold. At least I would, but, yeah. it, uh, but I don't have the window open, so it's not like any of that cold air is coming in to go straight to my computer. Uh, once this computer is finished, by the way, there won't be much need for that fan to go off in the background. At least not until the summertime again. But yeah. Okay. Uh, that, but yeah, the computer is still a work in progress. And it will be done before... All the parts will be acquired before, before uh, Halloween. Oh. Whether the computer will be built... That's another issue because I'm I'm still fairly new at the whole idea of of uh, of water cooling, and I need to I need to read up on this uh, on this whole idea of rigid pipes and angles and how how to why no uh, how, how to do this thing properly. I've been told by Why don't you friends, stream it and then, and then convince someone who knows how to do it who's on Discord that watching help? Because there's only one person I know that actually does this kind of thing and he keeps sending me to YouTube videos instead of just, oh, I don't know, tell me himself. But that's beside the point. You, what's the game you decided to, to? What's the reason why you decided to start streaming? What is the reason? First, a little bit of backstory. Last night, I tried getting this game to run with with a program called VirtualBox, and what VirtualBox is? It's a virtual machine program that lets you install an OS inside your own little virtual environment. You could you could run Linux, you could run Mac OS, you could run OS2, you could even run every single edition of Windows that you can imagine. Theoretically, you could actually run Windows 10 inside of Windows 10. The question is, why the fuck would you want to do that? <laughs> but yes, you could do that. I got an answer. I got an answer for that. If you want to see how system, what happens if you delete stuff from the registry or delete stuff or delete system 32 without destroying your computer. Yeah, that, 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 
that would that would be a good idea, I suppose. Yes, I tried getting this game to run. This is a 20-year-old game. I could not get it to run under modern hardware because... You know how most games that are 20 years old? When you try to run them under Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows uh, Vista, Windows 10. You try to run it and the game just not run or will not look look right well that's because the architecture has become so sophisticated it's become like a snob that that, that just do, does not want to look down on the unwashed masses it, it's like don't insult me so it, it won't run Kind of have to I am run. now starting to. I'm starting to see one thing at least. So I tried running this under Windows 98 Second Edition in a virtual box. The problem I had was getting the damn thing to run, getting getting Windows 98 itself to run. It doesn't function like other editions of Windows do. It's got its own A, A, P, A, C, P, H, or some kind of, some kind of uh, timing protocol for the CPU, the single core CPU, mind you, because we're talking Pentium 2. <laughs> it, it has its own protocol, it has its own timing that VirtualBox and VMware has not yet, uh, has not yet learned how to emulate. You can theoretically get Windows 98 to run if you if you take a take a huge detour in the middle of installation. Just after you format the C drive, the virtual C drive, you have to exit out, go straight to DOS, and then copy all of Windows 98 into a special folder on the C drive, and then run setup from there and then it can install and even then there's no guarantee that it's going to come out looking like Windows 98 you're still going to have the risk of run DLL 32 uh, crashes in the middle of installation and it's it's a pain in the ass and ultimately you're going to wind up with a broken desktop that only has 16 colors I tried installing SciTech Display Doctor to improve the colors, and what happens? Oh, I get a Windows protection fault. You have to restart your computer. More like reformat your computer. <laughs> so ultimately, I gave up on Windows 98 after about three tries last night. Took This took me about up to 3.30 in the morning. Out of desperation, I tried running Windows 2000. That also works, but when I tried running the running this game in question, it still looked like shit. And ultimately, I started looking up alternatives to get it to run under current hardware under just Windows 10. And luckily, I did find the method. It's kind of like a Voodoo 2, Voodoo 3 graphics wrapper. It it makes it tricks the game into thinking you're running. An old-style 3DFX card, which you can pump up to about 64 or even 128 megabytes of, of uh, video RAM, which is awesome. But more importantly, you can make it run in a window. You can make it run at at high definition uh, resolutions like 1080p, which you'll be seeing in a moment. And I just. Uh, I just learned that running win virtual PC, virtual box, is for chumps. If you want to try booting a Windows 98 game that you can't play under Windows 10, just look for workarounds. Don't bother with a virtual machine. It's not going to work. It won't work, folks. Don't bother. <coughs> so, earlier tonight, Long before I got the stream up and running, I 
after I got home, I finally got a chance to try this. And gosh darn it, the game actually runs. And we're about to do it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you this awesome game. Captain, priority one message from Starfleet. Jean-Luc, we've just received some very disturbing information about the leader of the Borg invasion. I already know. Honorless dog like you will never rule the Empire. That is where you are wrong, Worf. Now that I possess the sword of Kalis, the Klingon throne is mine. I will see to it that day never comes. Admiral Sela, sensors confirm. It is the Omega Particle. Prepare the containment field and hail the nearest board vessel. Tell them we wish to negotiate a deal. Receiving a transmission from the Borg cube. On screen. Locutus. Picard, lower your shields and prepare to be assimilated. If you are truly who you appear to be, you must know that I will not comply. You will comply. Your defensive capabilities are no match for us. Your culture will adapt to service ours. Resistance is and always has been futile. Funny how they have to replicate the cars of the places on the thing going straight to the Initiate maneuver, warp theta one. weapons on that vessel. Fire. childhood. This was my late teenhood. Make sure all the 
graphic settings are top of the bar. There we go. It's set for it's set for HD scale. -ish. Nervous because um, the screen looks like it's been broken. It's broken. Broken, broken, broken. I, I, I get what you're. Yeah, it's. The game does work. However, the title screen is just outright broken. Luckily, it still runs. select right now is the is the Federation campaign so let's get started with the Federation campaign Captain's Log, Stardate 53550.8. With the Dominion War over and matter stabilizing in the Alpha Quadrant, the Enterprise is helping to re-establish an outpost in the Barisa sector. Though we are not expecting any conflicts, there have been rumors of renegade Dominion ships in the area who have refused to accept the Dominion Federation Treaty. The Enterprise is being sent to protect the outpost should any hostilities arise. Station construction commencing. All right, excellent. We've got our three principal characters here all grouped up into group number one. So we'll this send, game. So we'll send them upward and just have them hang out. Reese? Yes, sir? What is this game? 
This is Star Trek Armada. Did you not see the title? Ah, uh, okay, yes. Okay, then. What type of game is this? This is an RTS. Yes, a Star Trek real-time strategy. The Star Wars won the Empire's at war. Yes, but that's Star Wars. And the only Star Trek game I have is the one I can't seem to figure out how to work right, which is that one that can that also has full motion video. Star Trek Fleet Academy. takes the longest to build a star base, but once you have the star base set up, you're gold. Because then, you can build construction ships as well as dilithium freighters, which we'll, we will be focusing on in a moment. Station complete. Now that's set up. Let's go ahead and set up a dilithium mining station right about here. Station construction commencing. Very important to protect our flank. Captain, the Dominion ships are firing their weapons. Station, sensors are picking up Dominion attack ships heading this way. All hands to battle stations. Helm, new course heading. Status report. Make it so. Fire, full burst. Enemy engaged. Target that vessel. All sections on standby. Status report.
Bring us in a weapons ring. Helm, new course heading. Bring us in a weapons range. All sections on standby. Status report. Make it so. Might be important if Make I... it so. Might be important if I move down here with one, with at least one unit. May as well be the flagship. Make it so. Make it so. Yeah, as much as we love to hear Picard's voice, uh, I have a feeling that's going to get very annoying later. Status report. Lay in a new course. All sections on standby. Adjust heading. Status report. Lay in a new course. Ready phases and quantum torpedoes. Enemy engaged. Status report. All sections on standby. Luckily, the Enterprise in itself. They wouldn't have to scout around and look for more. If I remember correctly, there's not very many. Bring us in a weapons range. Enemy engaged. Captain, the area is secure from Dominion ships, but I am reading some strange temporal distortions in the area. On screen. We are receiving a priority one distress call. On screen. This is Captain Thaddeus Deming of the USS Premonition. We are under attack by the Borg to any ships in the area. This is the USS Premonition. Sir, we lost the transmission. Data, locate the origin of that transmission and lay in a course. Enemy engaged. Alter course. Helm, new course heading. Away we go, away we go, to the blip on the map, and we go pew pew, away we go, away we go. Let's take it a little too 
fire all weapons. Enemy engaged. We are receiving a hail from the premonition. On screen. The legendary Captain Picard. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Captain Deming, you and your ship do not appear in the Starfleet database. Do you have an explanation for this? That is because it does not yet exist. I've come from the future to warn the Federation of an impending Borg invasion. We must act quickly if we are to stop them. Captain Deming, Starfleet has strict regulations which prohibit tampering with the current timeline. I have no intention Captain! of- Captain! Within the hour, the Borg will attack and assimilate Starbase 612. Its destruction was marked as the first step in the Borg invasion that eventually took over the Alpha Quadrant. Picard, where I come from, the Federation barely exists. Vulcan, Bajor, Kronos, Earth, they're all assimilated planets. This is our last hope, Captain. If you don't help us, the Alpha Quadrant will fall to the Borg. Very well, Captain. I will pursue this matter. Lieutenant, send a message to Starfleet Command informing them of our situation. Ensign Lucetti, set a course for Starbase 612. Engage. <laughs> 